What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your life to the fullest today. Today we are reviewing the 2023 Lincoln Aviator Black Label. Huge thank you to Michael Britt over at Ted Britt Lincoln of Chantilly, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Aviator or any Lincoln product, I'll be sure to have Michael's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. First things first, I wanted to thank you guys so much for 8,000 subscribers. I cannot believe 8,000 of you guys have subscribed to my channel. That's absolutely awesome. And we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you guys would, please hit that subscribe button. But first, let's get into the exterior and performance. So like I said, this is a 2023 Lincoln Aviator Black Label. And this particular one has been painted in the $750 pristine white metallic paint, which looks pristine in the direct sunlight. It's a very beautiful paint color, but let's start over here at our headlights. So you do get adaptive pixel LED headlights with automatic high beams, as well as LED daytime running lights and LED turn signals. So right here, this strip is your LED daytime running lights. These are your LED turn signals. And then down here is where you will find your LED fog lights. This particular aviator has been optioned with the $7,250 black label special edition Lux package, which gives you a black grill a black plinth and surround which is basically just like the holder for your Lincoln star with that package you also get some black trim beneath your fog lights and then all the way at the bottom you get body color lower front fascia which is this right here here. However, what comes standard with the black label is your forward-facing camera, which you will find at the bottom of your Lincoln Star. That forward-facing camera goes along with your 360-degree view camera system that comes standard on the black label. You also do get an illuminated Lincoln logo, which is also standard on the black label, as well as six forward-facing sensors. So you get one here, 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 and over here as well. And then if you guys were wondering about the ground clearance, you get 7.8 inches of ground clearance with the Aviator Black Label. This thing looks absolutely sweet. I love the two-tone design, which I'll get into here in a minute, but also with the Black Label Special Edition Lux Package, you guys get these beautiful 22-inch black wheels that are wrapped in 27540 Goodyear Eagle Touring tires, which I'll give you guys a view of the tread pattern on those tires and just behind that wheel and tire setup you do get an adaptive suspension which gives this thing a super plush ride but it also handles very very well as well now again with the black label special edition lux package you also do get this black fender slash door badging with those chrome aviator letters it looks super super sleek and then also with that package you do get a black painted roof as well as black mirror cap so you guys can see you get a lot with that seven thousand dollar package and i think this thing looks like one of those two-tone range rovers it kind of has the same body shape as like a range rover sport ish and i think it looks even more like a range rover with that two-tone design and then also these side view mirrors are power folding they are also heated get your integrated led turn signals right there and then the driver side mirror is auto dimming you get memory so not only do you get memory seat adjustment settings uh, but it also memorizes your side view mirror settings which is very very nice and then you get your blind spot monitoring on the upper left hand side of the driver side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror you also get a camera and a puddle light so this camera right here goes along with your 360 degree view camera system and then you have your puddle light right there let's do a little side profile of the aviator again i think this thing looks absolutely sick with the black label special edition lux package which also includes those black roof rails at the top of the roof line which you guys can see you also get black window trim with that package as well as these black door spears which are right here and then all the way at the bottom you do get that body color door cladding which is just below those spears as well as body color door handles. So body color door handles are not a part of the special edition Lux package, but you do get body color door handles. So I thought I would point that out to you guys. That's a look at your rear wheel and tire setup. It looks so sick. And then opening this up, you do get a capless filler neck. 87 octane will do just fine. It doesn't say anything about having to put premium fuel in this. Now working our way all the way back up here, you get a 
black shark fin antenna as well as a black roof spoiler with your integrated third brake light. And then hiding up top in there is where you will find your rear wiper. It is a top mounted rear wiper. Now working our way to the back, I'll give you guys a little view of the back end a little bit better. You do get black Lincoln lettering as you can see below your glass. You also get LED taillights. You get a backup camera just below your seat, which you will find right there. And then you also get a power slash hands-free lift gate. So if you guys want to open up the lift gate, all you got to do is find like your O um, or you find this little Lincoln thing right here, push that button and the power lift gate will open up to reveal a good amount of storage space back here. So I would say um, with the third row seats up, you have a storage space from about right here to right here, which is about comparable to what you would find uh, like in the back of a Tahoe when the third row seats are up. So one thing that I really like is that the third row seats, um, you know, they're split down the middle so you can power fold them up and down individually. So pressing on this button right here, this side will come up. And then you can see it says 3L and 3R. So 3R obviously would be the right side and the third row. 3L would be obviously the third row and the left side. Um, press that again and they will both drop back down as you guys can see. And then on the right hand side, not only do you get these controls, but you also get a 12 volt power outlet as well as I think this is like a little hook that you guys can hang something from if you would like to do that. You get another hook on this side as well. Now, when you open this up, you have a little bit more storage space. And then if you guys dig down a little bit deeper, you also get a spare tire. So very good amount of storage space back here. I believe if you press on this button, they will both come up um, simultaneously, which is very, very nice. And then taking a look, last but not least, this is the thing to close your power lift gate. This will lock the vehicle and then this will close the vehicle, so, or uh, close the power lift gate. So you can see the power lift gate is going down. There is your rear view camera as well. I like how the tailgate is a clean look. There aren't just a bunch of badges. The only badges on it are the Lincoln lettering badges. And then working our way down to the rear bumper, as you guys can see, you do get a black trim piece with reflectors on both the driver side and the passenger side with a side marker light. So you get your reflector, you get the black trim, and obviously you get a reflector there as well. And then from here down, um, your rear valence is body color and then you do get six rear view sensors back here so you get one two three four five and six over there as well as a quad tip exhaust this particular one has also been optioned with the 500 dollars class 4 trailer tow package which gives you four and seven pin connectors as well as blind spot with trailer coverage you also get a class 4 trailer hitch smart trailer tow and trailer sway control if you guys were wondering about the max tow capacity of this particular aviator black label it is 6700 pounds now let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Lincoln Aviator in the comments section down below. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I love the two-tone design. I know $7,250 is definitely a lot of money, uh, but it definitely gives it a more premium slash Range Rover-ish look to it. But again, let me know if you guys agree or disagree with that statement in the comments section down below, but let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that three liter twin turbo V6 that makes 400 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. It is made into a 10 speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in 5.4 seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 17 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway for 20 miles per gallon combined and i think those fuel economy numbers are very respectable especially considering how much horsepower this thing makes that zero to 60 time for a three row suv is absolutely fantastic but if you guys are enjoying the video so far today please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for 8,000 subscribers now we just got to hit 10 so we're less than 2,000 subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers and i would greatly appreciate it if each and every one of you guys would please help push me to 10,000 subscribers so please Please take a second, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, but let's move into the interior. Working our way into the interior, obviously you do get keyless access, so all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle, and the vehicle will unlock. You guys can obviously tell the vehicle unlocks because the door opens and the side view mirrors fold out, but you can also lock the vehicle by pressing this little button right here on your keypad, 
and the vehicle will lock and you can tell the vehicle locks because the side view mirrors fold back in. So there are a few ways that you can get into the interior. You can either put your hand behind the door handle. You can either uh, obviously unlock it from your key fob or you have a nice little passcode right here that you can type in the passcode and that will also get you into the vehicle. Now I did want to show you guys a couple features or things that you can do from the key fob. So obviously you get your unlock and lock functions. You can remote start this and you can open and or close your power lift gate and obviously you have your panic button but i am going to remote start it so all you got to do is lock the vehicle and then press the button under the lock button twice and the vehicle fires up now let's move into the interior and let's see what the door panel is all about now i guess one more thing i wanted to show you guys before we move in is that you do get soft closed doors so if by chance you don't close your door all the way like i'll just set it like right there the lincoln will close it the rest of the way for you which is a very very nice touch and uh, obviously something I guess I would expect from Lincoln because it is the upscale brand. Now I am gonna come in here and turn the vehicle on so I don't um, have a bunch of noise from the HVAC system. This does have the 28 speaker Revel Ultima sound system. So that is the Revel speaker surround up on the top and up on the bottom. It looks absolutely phenomenal. You get three memory seat adjustment settings. Pressing on this button will bring you into a screen on your infotainment system to turn your massaging seats on or off. You also get these controls right here to control your seat. So these are 30 way power adjustable front seats, which is insane. And these seats are ultra, ultra comfortable. You will have no problem finding your perfect position. So you can uh, see you got your thigh extensions here and I believe they both come out individually. So this one will come out individually or you can get that one to come out individually. I mean, I'm telling you guys so many different adjustments you can do with these seats. Now this particular black label does have the chalet theme. So that is the color leather you get with it's kind of like a two-tone with like a like a gray slash brown slash black leather um, and like this beige it looks really really sweet so all from like right here to here is all beige leather and it's just a very nice feeling leather it's nicely padded you get some stitching you get automatic up and down windows at all four corners this will restrict your passenger window privileges as well as that will turn the child locks on for the second row seat doors this is your power folding side view mirror button so you press that button the side view mirrors will fold in and or out obviously you got your unlock and your lock buttons power side view mirror controls right here this button is to open up the door so if you guys um, like run out of battery and the door won't open up from the push of this button you do have a manual backup right here that you can open up the door if you really really need to and then you get a good amount of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of the door panel as well as you get a beautiful brushed aluminum and illuminated Lincoln welcome sill it looks phenomenal again here's a look at your seats these things look just absolutely beautiful they are perforated down the center of the seat you do get heated and ventilated first and second row seats so let's step into the interior you guys can see you have these beautiful floor mats they are basically like um, a weather tech floor mat but they are made by Lincoln and they say aviator just an ultra premium feeling touch and you guys can see it has like the uh, outline of the Lincoln star so the, I mean this this car is like Mac daddy I mean at the end of the day it really is pressing on this button will power open and or close your power lift gate here are all your headlight controls so push down to go into off and then you can turn the parking lights on um, lights in automatic and then headlights always on I'm gonna leave it in automatic pressing on that button will turn your fog lights on and then these buttons here will brighten and or dim your backlit buttons as well as your digital gauge cluster but I do want to close the door for uh, sake of wind noise you get a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel with these arrows here and then you also get obviously a turn signal stock let's take a listen to the turn signal that is what your turn signal sounds like. And then pressing on this button will turn your lane keep assist system on or off. Let you know what it does right there. Then obviously if you pull back on that, that will turn your uh, high beams on or off. Taking a look at the right hand side of the steering wheel, you have your windshield wiper control stock for both the front windshield and the rear glass. And that is what your steering wheel looks like. I love the two-tone design on it. 
kind of reminds me of like the Volvo products with their two-tone design. I always love a two-tone design on the steering wheel. I feel like it makes the car look that much more premium. One thing though, that I've noticed when I was driving this and I was turning the wheel, I was listening to music, I accidentally pressed this button. So this is like your voice activated button, which will bring you into a screen on the infotainment system. You got your steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, downshift on the left, upshift on the right. Let's take a listen to the horn. That is what the horn sounds like on the Lincoln Aviator. Then you have these buttons over here. This is to volume up. This is to volume down. This is to go back on a track. This is to go forward on a track. And then this is to turn your cruise control on or off. And when you turn this on, all these lights turn on. So I'm gonna turn it off. All those lights go away. Turn that on, and then all these lights come accessible. So you can resume cruise control, set it, um, raise the speed, lower the speed, set it. And then on this side, you have like your um, different like adaptive cruise control settings. So this does have an intelligent adaptive cruise control system, and that system does lane centering, stop and go, and has speed sign recognition, which is pretty sweet. So this isn't like where you would touch it. You would touch these buttons mounted behind. So you get these three buttons to control these three switches. And then this button right here will bring you throughout your digital gauge cluster. So this is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Um, and again, these buttons are to control that screen. So you can go into here, you can go into tire pressure stuff, you can go into your calm screen, which basically displays nothing, trip one, fuel economy stuff, go back over to here and then you got your tire pressure stuff and then you can go over to here so if I click over to the left that will bring me into my music screen which will bring me into AM FM XM or my iPhone um, and if I had a USB thing plugged in that's also where it would bring me to and then this also turns into a back button so click back now it brings me back into this screen I can also go into my navigation screen by clicking forward I can go to, uh, just instantly into my home previous destinations favorites POI nearby which is point of interest um, so then if I wanted to press OK I would just flip that over to the right but I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to go into the navigation stuff um, and that's really about it for the screen now I kind of want to go into the screen so that is your digital speedometer readout you can see you got your compass up top there that is the current song that's playing that lets me know that the uh, um, the auto stop start system is off just above your coolant temperature gauge you have it something that says 28.5 that's your odometer and then that is your park reverse neutral and drive that is the top speed um, or at least that's the highest speed on the speedometer I doubt this thing goes 160 but who knows it might I doubt it though then you have your fuel range here, and then that is your fuel gauge. So you guys can see you have this um, gas pump that's pointing to the left-hand side of the vehicle. That means you fill the vehicle up on the driver's side. So if that was pointing to the right, that little arrow, that means you would fill the vehicle up on that side, but the capitalist filler neck is on the driver's side. And then I think I pointed this out, but that's your fuel range, so you get 55 miles till empty. Coming up just a tad, I'm not sure if the GoPro is gonna pick it up, but I think I can kind of see it a little bit. You also do get a heads-up display system with the black label which right now is displaying the time the temperature um, like adaptive cruise control stuff my speed limit the speed limit sign as well as the fuel range um, so I do have the adaptive cruise control button on right now so if I press that off now it's just like lane centering stuff I, I gotta say like this is probably and also lets me know that I'm in park this is probably the nicest heads up display system personally that I've seen. Um, and you can also control the heads up display if I like flipped down like that, you can go into the heads up display menu, um, which we can go into, I guess, to show you guys. You can turn the brightness, you can uh, adjust the position, and you can also adjust the contents of which that you have on the screen as well. So you can obviously, you can move it up, you can rotate it and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, I love everything that it's displaying right now. That's probably like the most comprehensive heads up display that I personally uh, interacted with so very very nice heads-up display system here on the Lincoln obviously like I mentioned you get keyless access so you do get push button start just make sure you have your key fob in the interior push your foot on the brake as well as push that button and the vehicle will fire up you get four HVAC vents on the dash one two three and four over there again this is the chalet theme you get some like faux wood up top there let you get leather wrapping up top here you get a speaker up top here more leather here it looks so sweet get some piano black trim you can go into this uh, buttons here so I press that that will bring me into this so this is how you would turn the auto hold system on or off this is how you would turn the auto stop start system on or off and this is also how you would turn the traction control system 
system on or off. Obviously, you can go into additional settings and you can go into all your different driver assistance settings, your cruise control stuff, lane keeping stuff, pre-collision stuff, all these different settings you guys can take a look at if you want to. Uh, but you have like this shortcut button to bring you into this screen here, which is very, very nice. And then this does have active park assist 2.0, which will um, park the vehicle for you, which is absolutely nice. And then you can navigate to parking. You can turn the active park assist on or off. And then you can turn your parking sensors on or off by the push of the button that was on the bottom of the screen. You also have an instant camera button, which will bring you into your 360 degree view camera system. And that is your forward facing camera system. If I put it in reverse, then that will obviously pop up my rear view camera with guidance lines as well as like those dotted lines. So if you're backing up to a trailer, it makes it that much easier. And while we're talking about this screen, I might as well tell you that this is a 10.1 inch Sync 3 infotainment system with wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto. So this is not the Sync 4 system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Um, but still, all you gotta do is plug in the USB to your phone and uh, you can have the Apple CarPlay on your 10.1 inch screen. So up top here, you got your home button. That is the current driver temperature. That is the current passenger temperature. That's the ambient exterior temperature, current time. And uh, obviously you get your sound stuff, Bluetooth stuff. You can take a look at your driver assistant stuff, vehicle stuff, um, and then all these different things. I'll scroll over one more time. You guys can take a look at that. You can go into your seating by pressing on that. Um, so that's like a redundant button in the screen that all you got to do if you want to pop that up is press this button here and then that will pop up on your screen, your seat controls. So that is what your seat controls look like. You can go into the massaging stuff and then those are your different massaging, lower rolling, all those different things. And you can turn the intensity to low, medium, and or high. And obviously the front passenger um, gets the massaging seats as well. And you can get your shortcut buttons at the bottom, audio stuff, phone stuff, navigation stuff, app stuff. And you can go into your different settings again if you wanted to, uh, which is basically what we have on screen right now. And then below that, you have these buttons here uh, for park, reverse, neutral, and drive. So make sure you have your foot on the brake, push to go into reverse, push to go into neutral, and push to go into drive. One thing that I kind of like about the buttons is that they're textured on the moving gears, which would be reverse and drive. So if you guys put it into uh, park or neutral, they're smooth. Just something that I thought I would point out. And then below that, this is your volume knob, which actually has very nice, like uh, a feel to it. You know what I mean? Like it feels like there's a good amount of resistance to it, which is something that I appreciate. And also just a nice material itself. Same thing for the tuning knob. You can lock the rear audio. So right now rear audio is locked. Then that's your source button, AM, FM, XM, which will bring you into those different things. You get your hazard button. That's what your hazard sound like. And this is to go back on a track, forward on a track. And again, that's your tuning knob. Below that, you have your climate control stack. So that is what your climate control stack looks like. Again, you get heated and ventilated front seats, both with three levels of adjustability. And these also um, can be turned to auto. So you can either have them be automatic, so it'll ventilate it or it'll heat it for you, which is a nice feature. And then you also get a heated steering wheel by the push of that button with one level of adjustability. This is a quad zone climate control vehicle. So I can have my own temperature. This person can have their own temperature. And then the two second row passengers can have their own temperature as well you got a great spot down in here you can set a phone you get a usb c port usb a port another spot you can set a phone here you get two cup holders and then you have your electronic parking brake and then this is your drive mode selector um, so you can either twist it or you can push it to go into a mode so it's basically like a select button but that also brings you into your different drive modes you have five different drive modes starting with excite moving into conserve which is efficient driving then you have normal you have slippery and deep conditions for deep snow mud or sand i'm going to leave it in normal mode at least for right now now this particular one does have a wireless charging pad and you may be asking you know you know you just went over the center console but you didn't mention a wireless charging pad you're like where is it so if you open this thing up and you look down in here this is where you'll find your wireless charging pad so i can set my phone in there right now and i'll show you guys how it sits so this is an iphone 14 pro max just set it in there like that and it holds your phone for you which is very very nice um and then you also get a 12 volt outlet down in here as well as this little divider you get a light and closing that you get a beautifully leather wrapped center fold down armrest this leather feels so premium it's so soft and it looks fantastic and it's also nicely padded as well 
working our way over to here. You do get a lockable glove box. Let's open it up, see how much storage space. So you can fit an owner's manual and a couple other miscellaneous items, uh, but it's really not the biggest glove box, but you can fit what you need to in there, which is nice. And then that's a look at the passenger side. Looks the exact same as the driver's side. You do get an auto dimming slash frameless rear view mirror. And that is a look at that. You guys can see me in it now. Um, you do get rain sensing wipers. So that is the camera for that stuff, as well as some of your other safety features um, behind this black plastic piece. And then up top, here, that lets you know if your passenger airbag is on or off. You can turn your uh, all your dome lights on by the push of that button. Now all the interior dome lights are on. The panoramic roof, which was found in this, is standard on the black label and you get a shade. So you can open up the shade individually from the roof itself. If I press that, the shade will go back as will the sunroof. Um, like I mentioned, or actually, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this does have a cabin particulate and odor filter, which is what that auto air refresh thing is signifying. And then opening this up, you get a great spot. You can set your sunglasses. You get like a beautiful like suede roof in that beige color. It looks absolutely sweet and it also feels really good as well. I also get a speaker above the driver and you get a speaker above the passenger as well. Passenger also gets an Opu panel as well as a Bluetooth mic pickup for the Bluetooth phone. Drivers is here and over here. Maybe this might be a temperature thing, um, but I know that that is a Bluetooth mic pickup for the Bluetooth phone. I'm not quite sure what that is, but you get a universal garage door opener. So if your house has three different garage bays, you can open up those three different garage bays individually. Opening this up, you can set money or any small paper product in there. Then you get vanity mirror with two vanity lights. Let's see if this thing slides. It does slide. It slides forwards and backwards. And then the vanity mirror setup looks the exact same over there on the passenger side. One thing that I really like is that this um, goes up, it goes down by the push of this button here. So that will adjust it up, that will adjust it down. And like I said, you have tons of adjustability with these 30 way power seats. Um, now a couple things, These uh, I have a segment called Kenny's Key Features, so I'm going to go over some features on this vehicle that I personally think are really cool and some features that I should highlight now. This does have the 30-way power adjustable front seats with mas massaging functions. This also has adaptive cruise control with lane centering, stop and go, and speed sign recognition. This has the 28-speaker Revel Ultima sound system, which sounds very good. However, I do think the Bose sound system is just a little bit better. Now this also get heated wipers, which I think heated wipers, that's a a really really cool feature as well as you get that panoramic roof you get the wireless charging pad you get active park assist 2.0 a 360 degree view camera heated and ventilated first and second row seats you get the heated steering wheel this has active noise control a cabin particulate and odor filter this is a wi-fi hotspot capable vehicle with 4g lte connectivity as well as five drive modes now i'm going to throw some safety stuff on screen right now for you guys to look at. You guys can go um, over the safety and security stuff as well as the functional stuff which I have on screen. You do get a 360 camera, you get intelligent and adaptive cruise control, lane centering, as well as evasive steering assist, automatic high beams, perimeter alarm, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. There are a ton of different uh, safety features that you get with this vehicle that it's not listed uh, on screen. Uh, but I do want to talk about the government safety ratings, which I'll throw on screen now. This gets pretty much five stars in every aspect, except the rollover, it gets four stars. So this is a very, very safe vehicle. So if you guys end up getting in an accident, just know that you are in a very, very safe vehicle. Now I'm gonna throw the rest of the window sticker on screen. You guys can take a look at the exterior, interior functional warranty stuff, um, as well as the optional equipment that's on this particular vehicle. Uh, the biggest option on this is the Black Label Special Edition Lux, which basically gives you all those blacked out elements, which makes this thing look slick, in my personal opinion. Now, it does have a couple credits that you do get for not having the uh, enhanced security system light as well as the hands-free lift gate delete so I guess this does not have hands uh, hands-free lift gate on this particular aviator so you do get a $55 credit for that now uh, I do want to talk about the total MSRP so the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Lincoln aviator black label is spec is $90,475 I know that's a lot of money but this is a loaded up vehicle it looks slick and uh, it's just a really, really nice vehicle to sit in, to drive, to ride in. 
it just feels super premium and it rides super premium. It's just an overall great vehicle. I do want to show you guys what's going on in the second row seats before we move into the driving portion of the review. Um, so opening up the second row seats, it looks very similar to what you would find in the front. However, you do get second row sunshades. So you get those sunshades. So not only do you get the 20% tint in the back, you also get these sunshades, which is nice. You get your Rebel speaker surrounds, you get some piano black trim, a nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest, automatic up and down windows in the back. You can also unlock and lock the doors from the second row seats as well. So if you're the parent, and you went into the store, you left your kid in the car, the kids can lock the vehicle as well as unlock the vehicle when they see you walking back to the car. Again, that is to open and or close the second row doors. And uh, down here, you have some good miscellaneous storage space. You also get a brushed aluminum door sill. Taking a look at the second row seats, you know, not quite as fancy as what you'd find in the first row, but they still look fantastic. And let's step in to the row to see what's going on back here. So you can open the power shade by the push of that button. You can also close the power shade by pushing that button. Now you do get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat. You also get a seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. Like I mentioned to you guys, this is a quad zone climate control vehicle. Um, so you can see the second row is on 72 and the third row is also on 72. You can go into air quality. So right now we have good air quality. You can go into your climate stuff. You can adjust the fan speed, the temperature uh, for again, the first and the second row. And I think you can sync the two by pressing on that button there. Um, go back home. You can go into your seat functions. So you do get heated and ventilated second row seats, both with three levels of adjustability. And that is what the screen looks like. This screen is actually really sweet. You can go into your audio stuff. So right now it says that it's connected to my phone. It's listening to country music right now. You can turn the volume up. You can turn the volume down. You can also turn the audio system on or off by that. You can play or pause it. This is just a really, really cool system. I honestly did not know that this was back here until I just got in it now. Um, you can also go into your calm screen. You can turn the display off, turn the brightness up or down. You can auto dim it. You can go into your modes. Um, really, really cool little screen here. Two HVAC vents. And then down here, let's open this thing up. You get two USB-C ports and then you get a 150 watt household power outlet just to the right of your USB-C ports. This is a really cool center stack. I did not know that this was back here um, and it just works phenomenally well. And it's also just really, really cool. And then opening or uh, taking a look here, you get two cup holders, you get a spot you can set your phone. Now opening this thing up down in here, you get a USB-C port and a USB-A port as well as a very good amount of miscellaneous storage space down in there as well. And you get a little light, you get some faux wood trim, you get some piano black trim. This is piano black. It looks super sweet. These second row seats are also super, super comfortable. You can recline it. You can bring it forward. You can recline it You get a armrest. I mean, just an overall super comfortable vehicle, um, you know, for even the second row passengers. And then this is a look in the third row. You get an HVAC vent, you get a cup holder, you get some miscellaneous storage space. You get some more miscellaneous storage up top there. Now let's take a look on the driver's side of the third row. You get a cup holder, you get an HVAC vent, and you get some more miscellaneous storage space back in here. Not quite as much um, room here for the third row passengers, but still, I would say about the same amount of leg room is back here um, that you'd find in like a Tahoe or even an Expedition. So very good amount of leg room back here for your third row passengers. Yes, you might have to compromise here with your second row passengers. Now your second row passengers do not get as much leg room um, in this as what you would find in like the Expedition. You do get a Opu panel as well as a spot you can set your dry cleaners. You get your dome light, same thing on that side. And then you also get a speaker here and a speaker here to go along with your 28 speaker sound system. So this is a really nice vehicle like I mentioned to you guys. It's super comfortable. It looks fantastic. All the functionality is there. Um, it's an overall really great vehicle. Now, you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review. And to be honest with you guys, I have no idea where I'm going. My phone is not loading the maps. So I was like, you know what, let's take a right because I'm pretty sure this leads to a main highway down this way. But man, this thing rides so smooth. It's so quiet. 
um and that's one thing like this has the three liter v6 and my dad has a 2017 lincoln mkz with this same engine and it's still super potent here even in the aviator so this makes 400 horsepower 415 pound feet of torque and uh it feels like it makes more power i mean th these three liter engines um they're super super quick and the powertrain ma matched to the 10 speed makes it even faster i think the one that he has is to a six speed and that thing just it rips and uh you know it's no different here this thing absolutely rips it's super fast super smooth super well insulated from the outside world the ease of driving on this thing i mean it's just it's so easy to drive i mean literally the steering is super light pulling into a parking spot is super easy because you get those forward facing sensors you get those rear view sensors you get the 360 camera um, it's just an overall really nice driving vehicle and it's also just super super easy to park as well so i love this thing if you guys are looking for a three row suv this is a great suv to at least take a look at because it rides so smooth so if you guys you know you're looking at the navigator you're looking at the escalade you're looking at the tahoe you're looking at the yukon and you're like that thing is just a touch too big i don't know if i want something that big then this might be the happy medium for you because you know this competes with the cadillac S xt6 and uh, this is leaps and bounds better than the xt6 i mean it just it really is on the interior i think it looks better and uh, definitely when it comes to the performance this thing hauls beep and i'll show you guys that here now so i'm just gonna floor it in three two one it's really really quick for what it is especially um, in those lower rpm ranges i mean it just it hauls beep i mean it really does for what it is it's it weighs a lot i know it does and i know um you know 400 horsepower you're like okay what that thing weighs a lot so does it really rip and you know for what it is i would say that it rips you know it doesn't like absolutely rip but it definitely rips if that makes sense so it's pretty quick and uh it just it's so well insulated from the outside world i do wish the revel sound system just sounded a touch better um but it still sounds really really good but man this thing rides great it's super nice i love the digital gauge cluster i love all the safety features i love how this thing will park itself um, it's just an overall really nice vehicle you know what i mean like super smooth to drive you can just yeah it's just very nice and it's kind of easy to get used to you know it kind of took me a second to kind of get acclimated to this vehicle because this is the first lincoln review that i've ever done and i was like okay well i don't really know my way around it yet and then once i started you know messing with the screen messing with this screen i was like okay well this thing's actually pretty easy to use so um you know it might seem a little bit intimidating up front but once you start like getting used to it start messing with the buttons you're like okay well this system's actually pretty intuitive um so i love the brakes it's got great brakes i feel like this thing can stop on a dime um again the acceleration is great the only little knock i guess i have to it um would be this button right here so when i was turning i accidentally knocked the button and it brought me into the screen when i was listening to music uh but you know once you start getting used to the vehicle you realize that the button's there it really becomes second nature and i really don't think that you will have an issue knocking that button so now that it's on my mind i haven't knocked it since that first time but you might knock it one or two times um if you do end up buying this vehicle but you know after those one or two times you're like okay that button's there i gotta remember not to touch it and you really don't really have to go out of your way to not touch that button but overall really nice riding vehicle really nice driving vehicle from the driver perspective and it's also just really really nice to ride in as well so that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button I really, I'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help we're literally less than 2,000 away so if you guys would give the video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button but last thing I do want to say is that if you guys subscribe to me on YouTube and you guys follow me on Instagram screenshot proof of you guys subscribed and you guys following me on instagram and that will automatically enter you guys into winning a 25 dollars shell gas card giveaway so all you got to do literally is subscribe and follow me on instagram and you guys are entered into the 25 dollars shell gas card giveaway so if you guys want to win a free 25 dollars gift card make sure you subscribe make sure you give the video a thumbs up but again that's it for today's video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace